We are out here at RuPaul's Drag Con, and today is the first day, and we ran. We were super lucky. First person we run into is an all-star. Hello, hello, Miss Ma Alexis Michelle. How are we feeling? So good. So happy to be here at Drag Con 2023. I know. Well, you got to tell us the getting ready, because I think all of us don't really get it. Like, this is an art. I mean, y'all y'all put in some work. So tell me a little bit about the process, getting ready to come today. Oh, I mean, listen, there's a lot of prep that goes in for weeks and months before but then on the day you know it's it's an early morning drag con doors open at nine for our vips so a lot of us are up at five six something like that you know to to start putting on the war paint just a, <laughs> but a, just a little mascara for me that's all so i slept in some chapstick and mascara that's all ma mascara that's all you need absolutely so tell us i mean what is it like to be here and obviously you just graced our screens i think like a week ago obviously if you haven't been watching all stars eight no, no, no. today oh yeah it was it was midnight today yeah, yeah. Today. like l last night exactly yeah, yeah. So what is that like? Because obviously, you know, everybody here already loves you, but then being like, you know, a show people are starting to watch, like what is that to know so many people are invested on how you do this season? It's interesting to see. There's definitely people that I'm seeing and meeting today that have been supporters from the beginning. And then I can tell there's new people and there's people that have been waiting. And I was waiting too, but you know what? I'm so grateful that it happened now. Now was the time. I was more ready now than ever to do this. So I'm glad it happened now. I feel like you already were on an all-star season. I mean, there's some seasons where there's clear favorites, but season nine was brutal to be on. All of y'all were talented, neck to neck. I mean, obviously you made it in top five, which is incredible. Uh, how did your season prepare you for this season? Being, uh, you know, along the sides of like, you know, all the people that came out like Shay and... It's the most legendary group. And it's so funny, like <laughs> some people say, oh, you were robbed or oh, you should have gone further or whatever. And they, but my favorite compliment that I got recently was like, in any other season, you would have been top four or, or, or higher. And I appreciated that because it is such a, such a special group of, of performers and artists, Sasha, Pep, Trinity, Shay, everybody, really everybody in that cast. And I was so glad to be a part of it. And I mean, on the first day I walked in that day, we were like, oh, this isn't going to be easy. <laughs> and um, I was so glad to come back for All Stars 8 with, with my season nine, Sissy James. She's, I'm so glad for her to have this time and this moment and all of us. It's, it's a, All Stars 8 is going to be really, really special. I would venture to say maybe one of the most legendary seasons in a long time. Now, one of the cool things about All Stars is we get to see even more of your talent. And obviously, you're you're very good at Broadway, at acting, at singing. Like, what are you hoping that people leave this season and say, okay, I learned a little bit more about Alexis Michelle this season? I mean, I definitely push that Broadway brand hard. <laughs> but I think and I hope that there will be opportunities this season for people to see me even further in action. Because there, I go sing out you know, live in the world at events and bookings. And um, I've met people and they say, oh, I didn't know you could sing. And that like, is like stabbed me in with a fork, you know? Um, so I think, I hope that there'll be more chances to see some of my diversity and my talents. And also I think uh, I brought the looks this time. So I'm excited for people to see that. Love that. Finally, you're about to walk around. Uh, more people are going to see you. What kind of fan interactions do you like at an event like DragCon? Like, what are you, the, the, the weeks leading up, what were you like, oh, I can't wait to go for? It? Being in a space, a safe space, where people love and support drag is very special and what makes doing DragCon really worth it. And also getting to see young people, whether they're, you know, 20s, teens, and even younger, there are. I, I, there was a sweet little girl on the pink carpet today. I went over, I gave her a high five. So Seeing young people and and inspiring young people to be themselves and live their authentic lives is, for me, the strongest driving force in this profession. And we need it right now more than ever. Y'all are under so attack, and it's unnecessary. So we need it so much, and I think it's important to remember, like Mama told us that noise is just diversion tactics mm -hmm. to go um, you know to go after our community particularly our trans brothers and sisters so we really must um, stand up you know raise our voices let our voices be heard vote 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 register to vote vote and um, 
and and as I said, really speak up and stand beside our trans brothers and sisters. They need us right now. Well said. Real quick, let everybody know where they can find you. If they want to follow you, if they want to support, where's the best place to go? You find me, Alexis Michelle Official, Instagram, TikTok. I'm still Alexis Lives on Twitter because, you know, that place is a hot mess. <laughs> but um, Alexis Michelle Official everywhere else. All right. So you loved her on season nine, back as an all-star. And listen to my new single out today, God is a Queen. Yes. Listen to the single, support on All Stars, and if you're here at DragCon, make sure to come up and uh, say hi to Alexis. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us and have an amazing DragCon. Thank you so much.